Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. Grateful to have you tuning in and watching wherever you're watching from today. You know, I got a question for you. Growing up, did you have an athlete or a celebrity or someone that you looked up to and, and maybe you dressed like them or acted like them or, or modeled your life after them? I think back to, to my childhood and when I was younger, I played baseball and I remember uh, just adoring Mark McGuire and his home run records and the, the success he had. I remember watching him and Sammy Sosa and especially Mark McGuire trying to figure out how he swung the bat and how he stood in the batter's box trying to figure out how do I be more like him. As I got older, I started riding motorcycles and I learned about uh, Baja racing and, and, and I learned about Johnny Campbell and I had posters of him and I would watch how he would, he would stand on the bike and how he would ride and I'd go out and I'd try and look like he did and I would just want to be like him. And, and what's interesting is this seems to be such a common thing for, for most of us when we're kids. Maybe it's an athlete or maybe it's a, a musician and you want to dress like them and you, you act and dance or whatever it is, or it's a celebrity. And, and at some level, I feel like we think this needs to end at childhood. But biblically, we're actually told to continue this same practice, but to direct it in a more intentional direction. See, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2 says this. It says that we're to look to Jesus the founder and perfecter of our faith. It says, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So it says that if you are a follower of Jesus, that what you're to do is fix your eyes on Jesus as the founder and perfecter. Other translations have said the author and perfecter of our faith. He is the best, and we're to, to fix our eyes on him. See, biblically, as we look at the life of Jesus, we see that he lived a perfect and sinless life. Uh, and he did that one so that he could be a perfect substitution for the punishment that we deserve when he went on the cross. But the, the other reason was so that he could be a perfect example for how we're to live. Now, if we're honest, we have to admit that it's an example we can never fully measure up to, but it should always be something that, that Jesus becomes the poster in our bedroom that we're looking up to saying, hey, how do I be more like him? How do I model my life after him? So today, here's, here's what that looks like, and here's some encouragements I have for you. First, read the Bible. I know that sounds super basic, and I know we tell you that all the time. If you attend here on the weekends, every weekend we tell you to do that, tell you to take a Bible if you don't have one. But can I just share that, that we say that all the time because biblical reading is actually not common, even amongst Christians. The, the, the regular Christian doesn't read the Bible on a regular basis, and I don't have the percentages or anything like that, but I just know that wherever you're at, you can lean in more to reading the Bible. If you want to get to know Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith, and model your life after him, you need to read the Bible. And if you're not sure where to, to start, start with the Gospels. The first four books of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, these are essentially the biographies of Jesus. Start there and learn who he was, how he lived. And then the second thing is that as you read the Bible, live like Jesus. Figure out what did he do in situations? How did he navigate difficult moments with people? How did he show grace? How did he uh, find wisdom? How did he do these things and live like that and, and apply that to your life? The third thing that I'm gonna challenge you to do is to say a simple prayer. This says something like this. You can say it in your own words, but something to effective. God, help me to live more like your son, Jesus. God, show me how to live more like Christ. Help me to, to walk in the footsteps of Jesus, whatever resonates with you. But that thought is asking God to help you live more like Jesus. And that's a bold prayer because your life has some areas that are different than how Jesus would live. And by praying that prayer, you have to surrender and say, God, I'm willing to, to walk a different path. But again, Hebrews tells us here that for the joy that was set before him, Jesus endured the cross. He took a path that was difficult and painful because it was the purpose, the plan, the, the, the path set before him by God the Father. And so Jesus, even in that, Jesus models that, that surrender of saying, this is the better path that's difficult, but I'm going to walk in it. So today, I hope that you would fix your eyes on Jesus, that you would make him your hero that's up on the wall and say, I just want to act, I want to dress, I want to, uh, to live more like him. 
and that you would take the steps of reading the Bible, applying how Jesus lived, and praying that, that bold prayer of, God, help me to live more like your son, Jesus. Because I know that the other side of it is life, and as Jesus says, life abundant. Hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.